Hey guys, welcome back to another video game review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the alpha slash beta of a game called Cards. That would be uh, Cards with a K, K-A-R-D-S. Uh, I was invited into the alpha slash beta and it says right there 0 0.7.45 point alpha. It does have a discord and it does have some settings. So let's take a look at the settings, shall we? We are in 1920 by 1080. Um, and it is uh, windowed, quality is epic, you can set an order detect, and if you are on a laptop, you can check energy saving mode, which is kind of cool, um, if you're planning on doing that. Now, this is a digital TCG. Now, what that means is, it means you have to open up packs and look at your cards. Now, you can look at the starter decks. You've got an American starter deck, a Soviet starter deck, a Japanese starter deck, a British starter deck, a German starter deck, so yay so let's go take a look at say the british starter deck you will start off with alexandra this is your hq basically this is what your wizard is in in uh, magic the gathering terms 20 20 health is what that card has once it reaches zero you lose the game um let's see the humbler it's a tank uh one attack three defense very similar to how magic the gathering does it it's got a class it's got attack it's got defense so that pretty much sums it up the K in the top left corner is how much energy you need to use that unit. So, for example, Desert Rats. And actually, you know, we'll use the Humbler. It will cost me one, one energy point to summon it from my hand to the table. And then another energy point to move it from the table to the battlefield. And then another energy point to attack with it. Okay? So I hope that makes sense. So, interesting deviation of cards i like the artwork the artwork is very reminiscent of some of my favorite books uh, um back in the, the the late 70s early 80s there used to be a, a, a small little comic book that you could get back way back in the day um let me see if i can find a quick google image of it i might use it as the thumbnail for this video um if i can remember it Let's see. Of course, you had the original G.I. Joes, which started in 1951. Um, there we go. The Victor, Warlord, and Battle. Those were the ones I was talking about. Um, if I could just grab a quick screenshot for you. As you can see, um, these were the sort of comics that I grew up watch, uh, uh, reading, say 1975, see March 8th, 1975. These are the sort of comics I used to grow up reading. My dad used to have a stack of these next to the toilet. Uh, I remember uh, reading them uh, as a child. So there was, war, you know, we had, uh, let's see, there was Battle, there you go, Battle Picture Weekly, um, Commando Comics, uh, The Victor, um, Warlord. I liked Warlord. Warlord was pretty cool. Some of the, the artwork in Warlord was amazing. But um, you you get the idea, okay? Um, you, you do get the idea. Oh. Okay. The image wasn't resized enough. But uh, as you can see, the artwork is very similar to uh, Warlord and a whole bunch of other things. Uh, so yeah, let's go go back to the game real quick. And well, like most tra digital trading card games, you will need uh, gold. But now we do have uh, some starter packs to open up. So that's what we're going to do. We're actually going to go to our starter packs and we're going to open them up. That's our special... So we've got naval operations. We've got we've got uh, two Soviet cards, an American, a Japanese, and a German. Let's open up another one. Standard, standard, standard. 
Okay, so we've got two Brits, an American, a Japanese, and a German. Russian, Russian, German, German, and Japanese. Uh, that's interesting. You can see, you know, ooh, limited. Num ooh, number 10 commandos. Nice, nice. Some of these were based on actual units, which I think is kind of cool. I do like the, the art style. The art style is actually very reminiscent uh, of a lot of like the, the posters and stuff that you would have saw in World War II. Um, which I think is kind of cool. Ooh, nice Panzer 35T. Nice tiny little tank at the beginning of the war. Uh, pretty useless near the end of the war, but uh, still. Good little training tank. I know Michael Vittman and a whole bunch of others. Um, Gerhard Gruber, they all trained on that tank. Oh, nice. Model 25, Japanese. Uh, twin machine gun. Uh, interesting infantry vi infantry support vehicle. Uh, used primarily against the, ja uh, against the Chinese. Um, useless against the Americans due to the jungle terrain, etc. etc. Uh, oh, supply drops. Interesting. Let's open up the next pack. Okay, 30th Regiment. A B-25 Mitchell. Very good bar. I should have a model kit of that. Uh, Imperial Strength. Give a friendly unit plus two defense and your HQ plus four defense. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, oh, I-15 Shaika. That is a Soviet plane, biplane. I-16. Uh, Atlantic Convoy. Deploy a random US unit that costs 3k or less and draw another card. Hmm. So it looks like the Brits work on an allied system, which is, you know, fairly what we did in World War II. The M5 Sturt. Riga tank. Uh, Careless Talk. Oh, no. Uh, when your enemy deploys a unit, deal three damage to it. Oh, it's a little trap card kind of thing. Uh, keep calm and carry on. Cup of tea. Actually, ironically, I actually have a cup of tea right here. Hmm. Uh, all British units gain plus two defense. Uh, the hammer, deal five damage to a ground unit. Ooh, Soviets have got some nice direct damage. Uh, bloody knuckle, deal one damage to ground unit and draw a card. Hmm, in for zero. Hmm, do one damage for zero. Might be interesting if the Soviets play like, like Red Manor does in Magic the Gathering. Uh, close air support for zero for the Brits. Flank, Flankenberg, uh, Scorched Earth, pin all units and deal two damage to them. Soviet card again. Uh, for the king, deal four damage to enemy army unit. Nice. Sentai regiment. Okay, interesting. And of course, you can just hit the shop and buy packs. Uh, interesting. Uh, so let's uh, go back and we'll take a look. Uh, we can do some training. Uh, we're going to train with the Brits. So you can get to see what the, the game looks like. Um... This is actually a fun game. I, I play against a U, uh, AI unit. Okay, 20 health. Okay. Um, do I want to keep this hand? Uh, Sterling? No. I'm trade notes. There we go. It's a much better hand. Okay. As you can see, then we've got to end our turn. Taking on the Germans. Okay. Flat cannon does two damage. I only do one, so I would actually destroy the flat cannon. Um, let's see. For the king, deal four damage to enemy armor. I don't think that's an enemy armor vehicle. Let's see. Draw two cards for three damage. Or Royal Engineers. You know what? Uh, give all friendly units plus two defense upon deployment. Hmm. Hmm, I think, far away, we'll move ours, and we'll do one damage. So you can move up, as long as you've got enough energy, you can attack. Okay, so he's dropped a Panzer 38, so now we can actually play the For the King. Deal one damage to any target, your enemy discards a random card. Hmm. Okay. Or do I want to draw cards? Actually, you know what? I'm actually going to play that for the king. And then I'm actually going to attack that flat cannon. Now, he did damage to me. The damage is permanent. It doesn't go away until the end of the turn, unlike it does in Magic the Gathering. 
the damage stays on the card, which is something I do like. Okay, so we've got the Luftwaffe, uh, a 3-4 fighter, okay, Churchill, okay, 2 and a 6, interesting, interesting. Now, what I could do is play the Royal Engineers, so he goes back up to defense, and then I've got two energy left, I could drop that and give him five defense, which would stop him, the Luftwaffe, from doing much. But it would also give him... You know what? Yeah, I'll, I'll play that. There we go. And I'll get the one damage, so... We'll hit him directly for the one. Now, his Luftwaffe can hit my... Um, uh, Alexander direct. No! He's gone for a wolf pack and removed my blockade. Interesting, interesting. Okay. It's my turn. Uh, I'm actually going to play... That. Okay. Now I got a Spitfire. Now my Spitfire can take out that uh, BF 109, but it's five mana. Um, you know, what? I'm gonna drop the fifth brigade, and I will attack. Oh, I can't attack. I'm out of it. Out of mana. Okay, so it's now the opponent's turn. Oh. Now, let's see. Hamburg has Fury. Unit can attack twice each turn. That's interesting. That's interesting. Um, heavy Guard. Uh, guard adjacent units can't be attacked except by bombers and artillery. Um, unit receives one damage, one less damage from attack from other units. Okay. So I could put the Churchill down. Hmm. Actually, I'm gonna. I'm gonna move the Royal Engineers up. Put the Fury down. Have the Royal Engineers. Oh, okay. Just like you. Please do. And we'll drop the Churchill. Let's see. Now he's spit. F he's uh, uh, eagle claws. Oh, good move. Good move. Okay, so it's Stug. Okay. What's that one? Do three damage to enemy HQ. Hmm. his artillery. It means I will lose my, my Royal Engineer squad. Got rid of his BF-109, which is a good thing. Okay, so I've got... Nice. Now, his Stug can wipe out any one of my uh, armors, but that's okay, because I've got my Stuka. So he drops another 109. Okay. Oh... Interesting. It's this one. Do two damage to enemy unit and pin it. Okay. So I'm going to play my Spitfire. Don't want to move. Yeah, I'll move it up. Now I'm going to use. Oh. I'm going to use my Spitfire. Oh, a Yonka. Interesting, interesting. What can I do? To enemy armor. Okay, okay. Get rid of that. And pin it.
Hmm. Oh, good move. Cost me Stuka. Extra credit slot. Okay, so he gains extra credits. Okay. Oh. Unit has a smoke screen, so I can't. Hmm. Okay, so he's got a lot more mana than me. Looks like I overcommitted here, but that's fine. I can use the Matilda to take out the Stug. Oh. Interesting. How did it do five damage? Double damage against armor units. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Looks like they, they won this one. Interesting. Yeah, looks like I didn't get my arm until it was too late. So, oh well. Excuse me, there is a message for you. Yes, Jarvis, I get it. There's a freaking message for me. Every time I record a video, excuse me, sir, there's a message for you. Excuse me, sir. When I don't, no one, everyone leaves me the hell alone. You know? Oh well, so basically that's what happens if you overcommit. Interesting, interesting. But uh, you know what? I, I think it's going to be an interesting uh, uh, card game. A very niche card game. Um, it, it, it's clear that there's a lot of online players playing the actual uh, uh, game. So uh, guys, um, you know, when the game goes out from, from alpha slash beta, um, go ahead and look at... Um, Go ahead and look at maybe uh, picking this game up. Uh, until then, guys, take care, and I will see you all in the next one.